Okay, good day everyone. In the last lesson, we tried looking at how to log in and create classes in quizzes. Now, in this video, we'll be looking at how to create lessons and quizzes on this platform. Okay, now we'll be holding an assumption that we've already opened to, we've logged into our quizzes account. And if you look at the left-hand side, you'll see this Create button. When you click on Create, it brings you here. This pops up. So it's be asking you, what would you like to create? Is it a lesson or a quiz? Now, for the now, let's start with a lesson. And we'll try to sync a lesson and a quiz together in this video. Now, I'll click on Lesson. Now, it will bring up a platform that looks just like a, a PowerPoint slide. So let me click on this one, a new slide. Now, just click on this to bring these two option, options. rather. Now, for this option is when you want to download, import uh, slides that you have already in your Google Drive. But if you want to just do it from scratch, you can use this option. So let's go with this option. Now we want a slide. So is it a blank slide or a title slide? So we'll be going with the title. So I'll choose a title. Now it gives me these various options for me to choose from which I will prefer. I think let me go with this third option. Okay, so I have this. The lesson I'm trying to prepare was the title. Let me just call it um, Scratch Scratch Basis. Scratch Basis. Now I have this. So I'm good with the first slide. Now, if you look at the right here, you have what you have themes. So you can choose the theme that you prefer. That is basically the design that you prefer for your work. Okay, I think I would want to use this animated themes. It allows you to put these that will be, um, I like using the animated. So I'll go with this one, apply this slide to the slide, or if you want it to apply to all slides. So I'll go with all slides, apply to all slides. So now I'm cool. That animation will be in my slides. Now I'm done with the first slide scratch basis. So I'll go to the next by clicking here, add new slide. Now my next slide should be my learning objective. So I can come to this one, slide and text. So let me use this. So I'll use this first option. So I can put here, learning objective, learning objectives. Take notes is a lesson we're trying to create now. Now I'm good with this, then I can replace this content with my learning objective. Able to state the basic, basic parts of scratch. window. Okay, and then two be able to make a simple scratch scratch program. Okay, full stop. Now, let's just say this is my learning objective. I don't think I need this, so I can get rid of this one by clicking delete, so that disappears, so I have this. And if I want to increase the font size, I can just control A and increase the font size from here to make it a bit bigger. Okay, now I'm good with that. Now, 
with this, you've understood how to get more slides, more slides, and so on. Now, let me just hold it at this point and assume we're going for an assessment. So now I want to bring in questions to be attached to my lesson. Now, I'm not using any of the slides options anymore. At this point, I'll just pick multiple choice. I want to get a question for me, I can say, or let me, before I use the multiple choice, let me use a fill in the blank option. So I'll click on this. Now I can ask here, what is scratch? What is scratch? Question mark. Now there's something about this. It will need you to put the correct answer. So I'll just say scratch is a programming language. Programming language okay so this is my answer now it's asking me here should it be if the chart puts something exact should it be exact should it contain these things or it should have the exact number let me just use contains if it contains these things that i've typed here then you should mark it good for the child okay so i go with contains so i'm good with this now, how long do I want this question to be there before it disappears? At one minute. How many points am I giving for this question? I'm giving five minutes, five points rather, and so on. Now, at this point, you can see I already have a question here. Now, let me add a multiple choice question. I'll still go to import, add a slide, and this time I'll choose multiple choice. Now I have multiple choice here. So from here I type, um, what is the default sprites in Scratch? Question mark, what's the default? So my first option, I say a dog. Second option, I say a cat, and that's the correct answer, so I'll just check it. Third option, a lion. Fourth option, a um, person. Okay, now you can see the answer is already checked. Now, how many seconds do I want this question to last? I don't want 30 seconds will be too much for it. So I will say 10 seconds. Points, I wanted five points also. So now I'm cool with this. Now this is how to create a multiple choice question. Now let's assume I want a poll in my lesson. So I will go here and I will take a poll. Do you like scratch do you like scratch so let's say yes no so i need just two options yes no then Okay, two options. And if you notice, this one does not have an answer option in it because it is a poll. It's not an assessment. It's just to get the opinion of the children concerning what you're teaching. So that is for poll. And if you also observe, we also have an open-ended question. If you want them to state things, open-ended question. Now, in this case, what will you like to create with Scratch? So this is an open-ended question. And if you also notice no correct answer or whatsoever, now the children are just allowed to put in their opinions and so on. So this is cool for this. 
Okay, now we'll be bringing in questions from the quizzes library. To do that, I'll just go to this point and I'll click on search on teleports. And I click on search on teleports. Now I have questions here. I'll go to this top area where I have this and I'll type what I'm looking for. I need questions on Scratch. Now it gives me things that have been done by other people before now. So I have this for grade four. So let me just see this one. It has 16 questions. So it has number one, what's the name of the program? So I can just add this one to mine. You see it pops up there. So I have it there. So I have this, let me look down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What blocks is used for starting an algorithm? Okay. Okay, so I have those two. Let me see. Create a program with the following algorithm. I don't want that one. The pen down block tells, okay, let me add to this one. Now I can just keep, if I'm okay with these ones, I can go to another set of questions. What is the character called in Scratch? Okay, I can add this and so on. I can just keep adding more questions to my lesson from here. And when I keep doing that, it goes on. And if you want to pull in the entire 15 question at a go, you just click on this, add all 15 questions and it goes in. So when you're done with the questions you want from the library, just click on this button and it closes it. And you have about how many slides now? We have 10 slides, it's 10 slides. So at this point I can preview it to see how it looks or I can just click on save. Now, when I click on save, it brings me here, asking me what's the, what should I call this lesson? So let me call it scratch, scratch basics. Okay, so scratch basics. Now it's for what class? Let me say it's for grade three, grade three. English language. Now, it will be asking you to put an image. For me, I prefer putting the school logo. So when I come here and I click on this, it takes me to my picture library and I bring in the picture. Now I have this, so I just click on inserts. Okay. Now at this point, I'm good. I'll just click on, it's still, visible to everyone. Now, if I want to make it private, I need to have the super account. So because I don't have the super account yet, I'm not using the super account for this. So I'll just leave it public for everyone. Then I'll click continue. Now, I'm good. Now it is set, the lesson is set. You can see it has this, it has the learning objective, then all the content that you want to add, you add it before you now have your assessments. Um, when you want to take a poll, you can take a poll and so on. Now in between these assessment, I can put slides to explain various things. Now that I'm done with the lesson, I want to assign it to a class. So I'll just click on assign homework. Now it brings me here, start time. If you want to schedule it, well, because this is for only um, the super account. So I'll just go to where not assigned to any class. So I'll click on select. Which class do I want to assign it to? Year three. So I'll click on year three. Then I'll say next. You can see it brings me here. Assignment title optional. So if you want to put a title for the assignment, put it here. Then add a description for the assignments here. Then you click on save. When you click on save, it is good. Now at the end, just scroll down and click continue. And the lesson is set. It loads and it pops up at the end and you're good to go. Your lesson is set. Okay, now if you want to share this lesson with 
the students, you can also send this code to them and so on, or send this link to them. I think with this, we are good for creating a lesson that has um, quiz assessments in it. Thank you very much.